previously on the lineage of Moonreach. We engaged with what we thought was Shigara and found out to be another homunculus uh, created by what we assume would be the same technology or the sorcery that uh, created the Thundara clones. We got out of there, got all the people out of the orbs, uh, found out that they seem to be connected to prominent members of society across the land, and we ran into a hobgoblin uh, who was guarding a hallway. After some heated debate, we actually won him to our side, or to our way of thinking at least. He warned us of some traps up ahead, and where the werewolves, led by what we assume to be Gorbel's not X, Lila, uh, in another room. As we bodegged into the room, Lila threw the head of Lufric. The D20 Syndicate presents The Lineage of Moonreach. Welcome back to the D20 Syndicate Podcast. A weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5E actual play podcast. I am your host and DM, <laughs> Seth. And around the table of the internet, we have our chaotic <laughs> cacophony players that are busting shit. It's okay, over there. we're chaotic anyway. good. <laughs> I'm Bruce the Shark. I'm chaotic cute. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Bruce the Shark, and tonight I'll be your waiter. I'm Tomas, I play Tomar. <laughs> I'm Lindsay, and I would like some shrimp. Do you have shrimp? Uh, I, unfortunately, that is all out I play as of half an hour ago. <laughs> Let so us know in the comments if you have shrimp, and then send it to us two weeks in the past. Send it to Billy. So in he Patreon. Can give it to Lindsay. I will forward it. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be real bad by the time she gets it, either way. I'm going to do the thanks <laughs> and then throw it away. <laughs> can you imagine no, a pint of cocktail it. shrimp just left out in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the Kayla and I yeah. play the Oracle. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Each week we record for your listening pleasure. This is episode 125. Oh, hey, 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 hey. This seems like an important episode. It nope. does seem like it. Because of the number and what happened. <laughs> Billy, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we end up just Sorry, I, I, I accidentally sent the script to Billy beforehand. He knows what's <laughs> <it>. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened, guys. It's cool. It's a filler episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gorbel's former love interest has Willem's current love interest in... The throes of death. And we all make friends and play games. It's they're, basically they're gonna, a clip show at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just going to do a flash sideways. It's a Nikki and Paolo episode. You oh, can skip geez. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just going to be a bunch of clips of, like, catching up. <laughs> like, we just splice in a bunch of things. Really? Lila. And then it just every time we've talked about Lila. <laughs> that's not a hobgoblin. That's a bitch. <laughs> 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 Remember that time? Never mind. Mm. All right. What you got for us? Roll well, initiative. What you time got for tonight? For us. Around the campfire question. Oh shit! Yeah, we got to do that stuff. Let me see. Fuck is going on Who with this put campfire? Who the car in the fire? Boing, boing, <laughs> boing. It's haunted right. as fuck. <laughs> Tonight's around the campfire question comes courtesy of Austin, one of our patrons. Making Thank it you, rain, Austin. Yay, Austin. Austin. Yeah, he, he, he posted yeah. a bunch in there. <laughs> he was like, All right. oh, we get to we get to do campfire questions? I Just cannot fucking. cowbell to save my life. Yeah, and who I don't know gave why. Lindsay a cowbell? <laughs> you put it on my, you didn't take it back. I'll take it back. No, I know the answer to that question. <laughs> it's it's perplexing to me that you're the one asking it. <laughs> I don't even know where she got it from. <laughs> <laughs> she just had Nobody it today. Knows. I don't know why. Uh, I think I know. <laughs> Tonight's around the campfire question from Austin is if there was a play written about your life what would it be called let's start with pinwin oh a poop 
That's not what I would call it. <laughs> please don't. Please don't take that as my answer, Sky Boys. And Tomar. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to Sorry, I was taking a drink, but you, you beat me to it. Uh, I'll um, be your stand-in. I'll, I'll, take ba- I'll take DMing back over now. It's okay, man. Sorry, can you repeat the question? Yes. If there was a play written about your life, what would it be called? Oh, okay. Hmm. Penwin. I'm trying to think of something clever, and I can't think of anything clever. But, um, you know, it'd be cool to be, like, I don't know, epic. So if it was called, like, The Epic Adventures of Pinwin Dingle Root, that'd be, that'd be fun. Do you think? Okay. And his dog, Shadow. And the other his wolves of Moonwake. Dog? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. thought Shadow was a wolf. By Pinwin Dingle Root. <laughs> Love, Pinwin. <laughs> By Ricardo Knight. <Nightingale. laughs> <laughs> That's that definitely exists <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in like a like a steam trunk in Pinwin's house. <laughs> All right, Tomar. Bound by flame, a comedy <laughs> by Ricardo <laughs> Nightingale. <laughs> you know, funny story. I do have a trunk full of uh, letters that I wrote. They're technically poems, all under the surname of Ricardo Nightingale. So. That's Keep creepy. an eye out in bookstores, guys. I'm going to get published. By Bantam Books. <laughs> <laughs> Penguin uh, strikes me more as a, a penguin published book. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For whatever uh, shit publisher Gorble. was Clifford. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, no. Um. It could be Gorble and our friend Penguin. I think it would maybe be something like wrestling werewolves fighting the wolf inside you. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> There's a, a colon in there. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Willem. Looking for wolves in all the wrong places. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Everybody's but Everybody but Tomars has a wolf in it. Um What's the deal, dude? Be more inclusive to wolves. Yeah. What are you doing? You're going to offend dude, Shadow. Dude He's yeah. still dude trying now. to eject himself from the group. <laughs> don't you want Shadow to be your friend? I don't know. That seems kind of like a weird friend, but... What? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> That's rude. That is rude. I have nothing... I don't, Pinwin will remember this. I don't know how I would connect <laughs> with Shadow. As a person, but I mean, we'll see. We don't know what his personality is, so <laughs> the master will remember this. Like, does he remember all the wolf stuff he did? Does he remember all know. the poo he ate and where he pissed on everything? We haven't talked yet. He didn't piss on any of your things that you saw. All the butt licking. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to a bunch of times where Shadow was like angrily peeing on Tomar's things, like staring him dead in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> he actually hates and, and Tomar. Tomar like has his blanket <laughs> up. And he's just like <laughs> 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 the one thing that Tomar is afraid of is Shadow peeing on his. <laughs> this is for the master. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so <All> bad. Right. <laughs> Let's get started. When we last oh, left shit. off. <laughs> yes, when we last left <laughs> off, you guys had just pushed your way into this large chamber where there was a just a fleet of uh, werewolves in there, including Lila, the she-wolf, appropriately named at this point. And, uh, man, you guys really love the wolf motif, don't you? Um, and she hovered above the group and threw Luf- uh, Lufric's head at the floor, and it rolled to face you, Gorble. Up top, on a dais, was Rock me on a dais. Sorry. Um, <laughs> on a dais, on a dais. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Um, was Shigara, enveloped by this weird mechanical contraption that seemed to be connected to a vat behind her. And the last th- thing that was said was Lila greeting Gorble, and no longer having the raspy voice from where her throat had been slit. Is there stuff in the you, vat? You can't tell. It's a co- it's a copper vat, much very similar to the type that you guys found beneath uh, Three Bridges. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. You weren't there. All right, so you guys stand there, and you see this head roll forward, and all of you recognize it in a, in one way or another as the man you met in the prisons below Deepminster that Gorbel seemed to have a connection to. 
Lila, what did you do? <laughs> well, you see, the master wasn't too happy with Lufric, and so, being a capable new apprentice, I thought I'd take it upon myself to eliminate a problem. I hope that's not an issue, Gorble. Why are you mean? You suck! <laughs> <laughs> Be that as it may, and she snaps her fingers, and Willem, you watch as a dome, well, you all see this, but Willem in particular, a dome forms over Shigara, a red magical dome. Don't mind me. And, <laughs> and starts, like, <laughs> rivulating with energy, and every time it pulses, you watch as Shigara's body jumps as if she's being electrocuted, though her eyes remain closed. It looks like if she was awake... It would be very painful. Mm. Mm. Does she normally like flail like that when she asleep, Will? <laughs> um, yeah, she sleep I'm boxes. Um, <laughs> no, and live uh, boxes. Does, <laughs> and hot boxes. Does the dome, the red dome, look like the red <laughs> orbs? Uh, no. Uh, they look, it looks like a much more contrived spell that you probably haven't seen before. It looks almost homemade. Hmm, okay. Uh... So we've got Lila. Is she up on the dais? On no, the she's dais, floating the above above uh, the dais. She's still bu- she's still below the dais, but above the crowd. Above the crowd. Okay, crowd. How many are we talking? Like forty wolves. Uh, wolf people or wolf wolves? Werewolves. Werewolves. Wolf people. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to try uh, to do the the submit trick and see if they still submit to me. So you, what do you, how do you do that? I turn to everyone and loudly I say, submit. Do you hold your blade while you do it or? It's pretty. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You watch as the group of werewolf looking things, they look like they're about to. And then you watch as Lila raises her hand and then they straighten back up. Oh my God. That's not going to work this time, Gorble. Sorry, but. Some things are more powerful than your little blade. Did you make a deal with the master? Something like that. He gave me abilities. I still killed you, though. Well, here I stand, or rather, levitate. Don't worry, we'll do it again. Tomar, can you do crowd control? (laughs) I... Tomar looks like he's only half paying attention, and then he looks over at Willem. And <laughs> 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 oh. just eating a big kahuna burger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Everyone roll initiative. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was miles away. <laughs> Fifteen. We were going into a serious combat. I know, I had the, I had the bodega blood flowing, and then they started talking to each other. And it threw me off. <laughs> just... Uh, that was good. 19. 10. 23. Nice. Yeah. Talking about my generation. All right. Uh, everyone, uh, give me a will save. No. That's a wisdom save. Huh, Sorry, boy? a wisdom save. Wow, <laughs> that's. I haven't done that in so long. I know. Did you call him cowboy? I said homeboy. <laughs> oh, I thought he was mad. That's How a dare you call him cowboy? cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> I got 30. That's our thing. Is it? <laughs> okay. 17. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Yee, and I can't stress this enough. Haw. <laughs> or you have a really woke cowboy, then it's Yeetaw. <laughs> nope. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I, that's for grace. I rolled a natural... I rolled a natural 20, so it's 21. All right. Because I'm so wise. Damn, your wisdom sucks. I know. <laughs> I like it like that. She I work on that back. D- don't know don't like I it am. at all. 24. <laughs> 24. All right. So, Lila raises her hands in the air, closes her fists, and you guys feel this pulse of energy ripple across the uh, the entire room. Pinwin, you feel yourself pushed out the door as you cannot resist the force of this, and the door With a 17? slams closed. 
The rest of you are inside, but you notice that the majority of your runes are also outside of the door. No. The only rune, the only rune that remains is mirror luck. Oh, that's okay. He is if, if, one of, if one of them is going to be left, I prefer mirror luck. I I'm prefer be Bem because he's huge and he would <laughs> tear the fuck out of these wolves. Pinwin, you are now in the hallway that you were originally in with Bem, Chester, Dirk, and Len. So upon first instinct before thinking, I will try to open the door and then will it open? You will have to wait. Oh, wait, no. You are first in the rotation, so yes. Um, Pinwin's the out door, there just doing the Eric Andre. As right. you reach for That's the door, gonna... as you reach for the door, you feel a an intense burn. Give me a constitution save. Oh, my glob. <laughs> this is bull crap. <laughs> Little does Pinwin know, when we did the low five, I passed on all of my bad luck to him. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, uh, you... Oh, actually, first, hold up. Just a reminder to everybody, like, pretty much m- most of us have multiple bardic inspirations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can't. All right, first of all, the f- I forgot to mention, Pinwin, you will take 18 force damage from that magical blast, but reaching for that door has also... Giving you 46. What the hell? Fire damage. That's really hot. Ow! <laughs> As a kind of a protective flame springs up in front of the door. Oh, now, my God. Pinwin, you have burned yourself, and you can hear sounds coming up from the staircase <gasps> behind you. Lila straight you Kevin McAllister, dear ass. <laughs> you hear from a little ways away a. Almost like a weird, stunted howl. All right, Willem. Shit. You've just yeah, been hit by this blast. I don't want to die. Throw runes at them. I'm not doing oh, s- well sorry. now. Uh, you guys all, t- uh, everyone, since you all saved, you take nine points of force damage. What? <laughs> since you saved. Oh, yikes. Eat my hole. Yeah, that sucks. You and know I'm I have FOMO. Well, it sounds like you you're going to fight and other Tomar stuff. is on deck. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... How far away is Lila? She's like 50 feet away from you. 50 feet? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm going to use my walking speed of 30 feet to run toward the crowd and Lila. And mm-hmm. once I reach that uh, length... I'm going to huck the shit out of my warp dagger at Lila's fucking <laughs> chest. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and roll. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> 19. 19 hits. Sick. Yay. Uh, do I have to roll for it to stick? Uh, it's a... No, with her, it would, it would stick. So it sticks... Okay. In to it may not be like a deep, but it's definitely in her armor somewhere. Okay, I would like to warp to her. Okay, and so Willem, you you warp right up in front of her. Okay, and I did seven damage with the warp dagger. Okay, and I would like to plunge Kariki Anj into somewhere upon her person. Okay, go ahead and <laughs> a- roll aiming the for, for like under the armpit area. Okay. Oh, that's a natural 20. Yeah! Okay. Whoa! <laughs> so that's a 33. Okay, 33. And okay, that hits definitely. <laughs> or I mean, obviously the natural 20. Uh, what you so you'll roll uh, you'll roll damage. Do the, do the max amount of damage and then roll additional damage. 35. 35. So Damn. W- Willem, where were you aiming? Um, just under the armpit. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you like jerk it up and, uh, mm-hmm. Max. and yeah, you, you get like a nice little blow in there. Um, and it, you, you can feel like it kind of stick and she, she kind of like cries out a little bit like, ah, and, uh, but then you are in the air f- like floating. So you begin to fall Willem. 
Oh, so my, any... so my dagger's not, like, still stuck in her? You wouldn't be able to... I mean, you can warp up to her, and yeah, it's kind of stuck in there, but you're you're not standing on anything. You're just... Right. I imagine that I'd be, like, a corn cob holder <laughs> oh, okay. in her. So you will... That would be so a grapple, will, probably. Yeah, it would be a grapple. I'm yep. cool with so that. You'll... I'm cool All right, with that. go ahead and I'm and, cool uh, with that, too. Your, that is your a, strength. That's a fun visual. <laughs> strength <laughs> check? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just like... <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen is unfortunately not enough mm. as she pushes you off. However, roll a dex save, please. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh shit, yeah. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, so you are able to take the dagger with you as you are pushed off into the air. Give okay. me. <laughs> Acrobatics. You got it. This is my wheelhouse. Oh, fuck you. Thank you, reliable talent. 27. 27? All right. How does this look? That's a very good roll as you're pushed through the air. Uh, so she pushes me, and uh, I kind of like still have the dagger in my grip, so there's like a little bit of a pause right before I actually free fall, and I use that moment and that uh, purchase to kind of kick off of her. And I do a, a backflip and try to land on the nearest uh, werewolf. <laughs> okay. All right. So you, uh, how are you trying to land on this werewolf? Uh, feet first uh, and bla- Kariki Anj pointed downward. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. Cool. Um, Tomar, uh, I assume you need this right now. Uh, well, yeah. Um, okay. All right. Give me one sec then to send this over to Tom. All right. I'll describe this though. Uh, knowing that Willem said to control the crowd, uh, I barrel towards them and yeah. you see my body change shape, grow bigger. I gain uh, hind legs and I start growing fur that uh, starts rippling with different colors. And I wow. turn into a, a full-grown luminescent wolf, and I run yeah. right into the fray. Yes. <laughs> Where? And in luminescent wolf, I say, "You guys are so fucked." <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just start attacking the crowd, I guess. <laughs> uh, so okay, sick. so well, that that takes an action to do. That's true. Uh, yeah. 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 So I'll just run towards them. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Gorbel. Okay, I I turn to Miraluk and I say, "This sounds a lot like your brother. You need to help us out." I'll do so. Yeah. And we need our friends. And I run to the door. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna kick the door. Do okay. Do best. Go ahead and uh, roll attack. <laughs> it's like one of those gym fail videos when they're doing the uh, the leg press and <laughs> their legs. Break backwards. Oh god. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck my ass. I mean, sorry. Fuck my front. <laughs> I mean, one of the more respectable orifices. Can I? Uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use the the bardic inspiration from Pinwin. Okay. And that's a plus ten, correct? Plus mm-hmm. uh, yeah. a d10. A d10. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah. Okay. I just wrote it down and I already forgot about it. I should have fucking rolled that to fucking grapple that dumb bitch. <laughs> Are you serious? Unfortunately. Uh, That's why I go analog. I don't trust. I, if, if, if I roll wrong, <laughs> then it's on me. I don't well, trust the I tech roll, demons. <laughs> I can't stop rolling ones either way. <laughs> so Okay. Uh, 14. So 14. Uh, give me... A uh, a constitution save. Suck ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can never do cool stuff. <laughs> Says the Fuck level twenty me. bard. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Mm. Okay. Jesus. Gorbel, you attempt to kick this door, That's and before you can even head. reach it, a like a magical field of like what looks like glittering fire <laughs> appears and burns your leg doing 66 fire damage. I walk into the flame and leave the room. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm done. I have dealt with this bitch <laughs> not like f so many fucking times in my life, and you will not let me get out of this relationship. <laughs> At a certain point, Seth, I feel like you were abusing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Edit just that the one talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She yeah. makes a compelling That one is talking right. Edit For a second, that, I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were serious. I was like, oh shit. What did I, what did I uncork here? <laughs> Wine humor, I like it. <laughs> Since that was an attack roll, do I get another attack? You can, uh, you can definitely make an attempt. Does it have to be on the door, or can I do something else? Uh, if you, you can move, if, if you have two attacks, you can move, and then you can attack again. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to uh, ready myself in a position to defend myself, or fight something, or surrender, or whatever. <laughs> Wait, you tried to kick the door? Yeah. When you have... Mm. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna... That's a question for another time. It's not her fault she can't true. read. <laughs> they were cones! Who said I can't read? I mean... <laughs> shit. <laughs> did I did I do the thing part out loud again? <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then Gorbel and Lila end up fucking murdering me and then <laughs> making up on my corpse. <laughs> I would never make up with her. That's what you think. I am unwavering in that. <laughs> the one time Seth Railroad DMs. <laughs> you are in love with Lila. <laughs> God, that would that, that would, would be the fucking backsies. worst style of DMing. Like, no, you're you're in love. Yeah, that would <laughs> you're in love. <laughs> that would take all agency out of a, being don't a player. You, don't you feel <laughs> the you know chemistry? What? You know what? Go ahead and roll for it. What am I rolling? Just roll. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you failed the charisma <laughs> check. You're in love. But I rolled twenty. <laughs> it yeah, was it really bad. Easy. She rolled sixty nine. You you're had fucked. to roll twenty for it. <laughs> All right, so at the end of the round, Lila s like sneers at Willem and then looks over at Gorbel's retreating form and- No, I'm readying myself at her. Oh, okay. Like, I, I don't want my back to be towards them. Gotcha, okay. So you like, and then looks at you, smirks, and then holds her hand up again. And you guys watch as the horde of wolves start to run forward. Pinwin. <clears throat> It is now your turn. F. Yeah. Get so up to the mic. Get up to the yeah, mic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, F. So you've just heard something down the, the staircase hallway. Okay. Runes be ready. Um, and I'm going to preemptively cast Hail of Thorns. Hail of Thorns. Um, you preemptively cast it? Yes. Like, prepare it? Yeah. Okay, I am going to do it at a higher level, though. Let me see. Let's do... Um, six level. Six level preparation, hail thorns. Mm -hmm. All right, are you going to do anything else? You can't and see what's down there since you're you're so far away from the actual stairs themselves, but... Already my bow. Um, okay. And the other runes kind of, like, array themselves around... Uh, preparing as well and you hear like a and and slowly rising over the uh, the little horizon of the stairs Pinwin you watch as this massive humanoid wolf creature oh. begins shambling forward it's just completely just like covered in hair it looks more wolf than anything else, but it is probably 10 foot tall. It can barely fit into this hallway. Hugely muscular and carrying a gigantic battle axe as it slowly slogs up to the top of the stairs. Yay. <laughs> oh, no. And then I use the... Or would you like to do anything else? Poop pants. F. Yeah. Um, do I have Roll time to, to fire at it or are. not yet? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do... I mean, I guess it's good I did it at 6th level still. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and shoot the creature since I have Hail of Thorns now. Okay. 22. 22 hits. Yay! Okay. Now. Nice. For my Hail of Thorns. Yeah, read the spell. 
The next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it must take a dex saving throw. Oh, so you, you do need, need to do a dex throw of 19. So it'll, it'll work once if you hit with your attack, which you did. So dex save of 19, 19 you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. It does not save. Yeah, sick. So go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, hot dog. So, <laughs> with Hail of Thorns, that's 33. And then, yeah. Let me roll my oath bow damage. Plus 11. Plus 11. So 44. So, 44. so Pen, when you fire at this thing... And it hits it, and then the sprout of thorns comes out, and it's just like, and it like thrashes around as these thorns are like kind of sprouting up everywhere. You watch as Bem races forward, grows a little bit, slashes at the creature, doing a natural 20. So, yeah. holy shit. Wow, nice, Bem. <laughs> Make short work of this big creature. Hey. No. Um, doing 13 damage to the creature. And uh, ch- you see Chester raises hands and his dolls start floating around. You watch as L- uh, Len kind of removes a hatchet from his, um, his belt, hurls the hatchet at the creature, and completely misses. It, like, hits the wall and breaks. And he's just like, fuck. And you watch as Dirk uh, unshoulders the giant, basically studded baseball bat that he has on his back and, like, takes a tight grip and gets ready in, like, a defensive position. What were you going to say? Me? You said, um, yeah. Oh, I didn't say anything. (sighs) Okay. Willem. Tomar, you're on deck. All right, so what was the aftermath of me trying to plummet onto a werewolf? That is what we will discuss here. If you're trying to, like, plummet onto him and attack him, it will be an attack roll, uh, though it will be at advantage based on how well you did with that little acrobatic display. Okay. Uh, Will it uh, count as my action? Yes. Hmm. Is Lila still... (laughs) (laughs) Um, Is Lila still in the same position? Yes. I would instead then like to try and land on the shoulders of or the back of the nearest werewolf, vault off of him, and throw the warp dagger at Lila again. Okay. um, So that'll be a higher DC, but uh, go ahead and give me an additional acrobatics roll. You got it, boss. Oh, God, thank God for reliable talent. 27. <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll attack. All right. Yes, 26. 26. Okay, so, Willem, you s- <laughs> how this all plays out is she threw you off of her, you grab the dagger, did your, like, display, land on the shoulders of another creature, leap off into the air, whip the dagger back at her, and... Th- It sticks into her again, and you warp? Yes, please. Okay, and you warp. Excellent. And I did six damage with the dagger. Nice. Okay. Um, And I'm going to... This time, when I warp, I warp Mm -hmm. with my other hand. So the first time, it was my left hand, and I stabbed into her with Kariki Anj in my right hand. Mm -hmm. This time I've got the warp dagger in my right hand and I'm stabbing up at her with Kariki Anj with my left hand and I'm going for under the uh, armpit again. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead and roll attack. 25. 25 hits. All right, go ahead and roll damage. All right, all right, all right. Damage is... 12. <laughs> 12. 12 damage. 12. So you get a nice little slice in there. Um, Do I need to grapple again? Yes, if you're trying to hold on. Strength. Yep. Please, 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 please. Fuck. Um, I'm going to use my bardic inspiration. <laughs> okay. uh, so I rolled a five. Um, <laughs> and. So that'll be a d12. D12, okay. And or you could use the d10 from the mantle of inspiration. Ooh, okay. 
Um, in this instance, I'm going to do the 12. Because I think okay. I feel like a 5 is really bad. Uh, so 5 plus 12, 17. 17. You remain grappling <laughs> Lila. And I'm just going to... And I'm going to be hanging there and I'm just going to yell in her face release her (laughs) all right Tomar it is your turn Uh, I'm going to rear back once I get to these wolves and uh, my mouth is going to glow with like green energy and I'm going to shoot a force blast out of my mouth at them Uh, make a deck save my children (laughs) (laughs) Uh, that is a I guess how many of them are you targeting whoever can fit in a 30 foot cone a lot of them. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's like five or six of them that are that are in that cone. Um, okay, they fail the save. That's going to be 68 force damage. All right. Okay, you watch as these are these creatures are just like, and they like stumble backwards as they were rushing. Uh, several of them, let's see how many. One of them, I guess, <laughs> hits the ground uh, and is prone. The rest of them are just, they are pushed back a few feet. Um, and I'm going to shout at them, yield! <laughs> All right. Uh, Gorbel, it is now your turn. We are coming in with mass intimidation. Okay. <laughs> I, I look over to Mira Luck to mm-hmm. see if he's like doing anything. He hasn't done anything yet. He will go after this round. Okay. I say, do you have a plan? Well, um, oh, what, do, what are you thinking? Do you want me to just attack willy nilly? Well, I don't know. I'm He's biting your my brother. Thumb. You know what he does. I'm going to distract her if you need a, if you need an opportunity to do something. I can think of something. Go ahead and distract her. Okay. Well, be fast. I will. Okay. Knowing Lila on an intimate level. I know that she is an extremely proud person, Mm -hmm. or I should say was an extremely proud person. She ain't even people. (laughs) (laughs) Look, she thinks she's people. (laughs) She has a need to feel in control at all times. So, from my position, standing on the floor, her in the air, out of reach, I am going, I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery. Okay. And uh, it's a, what is that? Is it a Christmas save? Um, no, wisdom save wisdom. 19. All right, and it will actually be at disadvantage because you know her so intimately, so you would, t- like, have advantage, basically. So let's see what this... What are you going to say as your mockery? That is a natural one. Nice. Mm. So I will say that this will do double damage. Okay. <laughs> Which isn't very much. Do you want me to talk or roll damage first? Uh, y- you can you can do either. What, yeah, I think all of us awaited with bated breath to see what you said. Whatever you mm-hmm. think would be funnier. <laughs> you wolf bitch. <laughs> yeah, whatever you think would be funnier. Like, I think okay. it would be funny if you played off of what you, like how well or how badly you rolled. <laughs> that is funny. I like that. Lila. You watch as her head snaps towards you. What are you doing here? Once again, you're riding on my coattails. You did it when you were alive, and now you're doing it after death. All right, go ahead and roll damage. No, is she going to respond? Uh, well, the nature of it is they're racked with pain. Oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> she poops. I would, I would think that at some point you would find your own thing, but you have to keep stealing mine. You're a leech. <laughs> Go ahead and roll in, and then double it. Oh, Lila the Leech. Mm-hmm. Episode name. <sighs> hey there, Lila. <laughs> <laughs> Leech Lila. Leech Lila. Uh, it's going to be 18. 18. All right, you watch it. She's like, ugh, ugh. And then what's the extra effect of Vicious Mockery? Is it, is there, everyone gets advantage? Disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes. Okay, gotcha. That's good. That's good. So you've also fucked her up as far as, her ability to do things. So she, something seems to be racking around inside of her head, and she, like, looks back at you and seethes, and then she says, you'll see. You'll see who's riding whose coattails. I blow her a kiss. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, she hates being belittled. <laughs> I said, bitch. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Now it's Lila's turn. 
she's like grappling with <laughs> with uh, a little with spider gr- monkey uh, with Willem, <laughs> yeah. And so she's like trying to pull him off. And so give me an opposing strength roll, which she will have at disadvantage. Yes. So do I roll twice or do you roll twice? I roll twice, you roll once. Gotcha. 18. Mm -hmm. 18. You successfully are able to remain on and she can't do anything to get you off. I Uh, said (laughs) release her. (laughs) Instead, she just kind of looks and she says, time's ticking, my little half-elf friend. She'll be dead soon. And that's it. <laughs> you hang All awkwardly. Right. <laughs> I, I stab her again. <laughs> I saw her with the blade. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Um, Pinwin. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just double checking. There's no way I can befriend this, right? Like this is like a big <laughs> monster thing. You are certainly able to try anything that you have in your repertoire. I mean, to be fair, I did attack it out the gate. Um, I mean, sounds a little bit scary. Just say you're sorry. I'm realizing pretty quick my health isn't fantastic, and I need to try to make short work of this giant monster. So I'm going to go ahead and sing to my bow, favored enemy, enemy favor. And let's see if I can do some good damage here. Okay, and I'm going to try to fire my bow. Hail Thorns okay. continues, right? I don't know. I'm not a ranger. I think it's. I, think it's <laughs> I just, don't know. I'm not. I think it's you. just one. I've never one. played one Damn. in this game. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. No, I haven't played a ranger since 2006. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. So I'll favorite enemy, and then I'll also cast hunter's mark. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So go ahead and fire away. I will fire away. 23 for... To hit? Yep. That hits. Okay. So for Oathbow... Okay, so you're good. So it's 35 damage? Mm -hmm. And you have another attack? one attack? attack. Yeah. Oh, I get to go again. (laughs) Yay! Thank Todd. Thanks, Todd. (laughs) If I roll a one on my re-roll for advantage, can I roll again because I'm lucky? Yes. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. 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 At first, I was like, nah, and then I was like, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> actually. <laughs> 26. That hits. Yay. So then that would have been 40 the first time and 20, or 32 the second yeah. time. Yeah. Damn. So, <laughs> with, so a total of 77 damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you fire off and they stick right into his, like, unprotected chest and he's... And he's going to pick up and heft his axe, and he starts swinging around in a circle. <laughs> and you watch as he starts spinning and coming towards you, Pinwin. Fucking General Grievous. This dude is like a fucking bloodborne enemy. This and is I'm by dope. myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got your. I have you my runes, uh, but yes. Yeah, by um, with the help from your friends. What's your What's your AC? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Unless it this goes hits. up with other stuff. No. Okay. No, you're, you've got F. it. F. And 18. Um, so this hits, Penguin, but it doesn't just hit you. It hits everybody okay. but Dirk, since Dirk oh, is kind of on the oh, outskirts. Okay. Oh. okay. Um, so, Penguin, you take 86 damage as this swirling axe Ooh. collides with you. It knocks you back 10 feet and prone, so you're on your back. But also, you watch as this, like, HP. spinning creature... <laughs> you watch as this spinning creature like slowly like like stops spinning and then it's like and it looks very like like off kilter and you watch as the others are all knocked back as well Len hits the ground unconscious uh, Bem is still holding on Dirk and Chester are still pretty good um, Chester you watch as his dolls assemble in the air and they th- 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 they shoot out these like black bolts of energy at the creature. I'm imagining it just looks like the dark saber, but like little little tubes. 
<laughs> about this log, just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shooting out of these paper dolls. Yeah, and they <laughs> hit this creature, and it, but it still seems off kilter. And you watch as Dirk like takes a grip, runs up, and swings on the beast. Yeah, dude, he's he's in his fucking cooldown phase. You got to go up and do a charge attack so you can visceral him. <laughs> And Dirk does actually a really good job. You watch as he's just like, woof, like uppercut with the bat and hits the creature underneath his chin. And you watch him just like with this giant bat. And he like takes a step back. Willem. All right. Um, I am You're still grappling her. OK, uh, I would like to climb up her body in a stabbing <laughs> motion with Karikianj and my dagger. Okay, so roll attack and then followed by athletics. Okay. Uh, gonna roll for the dagger first. Not bueno. Uh, 15. Okay, 15. I think we would treat this if you're grappling. Disadvantage. So what you'll ha- uh, it's restrained. I actually think you would have... It's the yeah. restrained condition, so... Okay, so... What do I minus? You have advantage, then, if you're restraining her. Ah. Yes. So, yeah, you would have advantage. Um, Excellent. Then that's a 24. 24. Okay. So the first attack hits. And... God damn it. I keep rolling ones with that one. Six. Six for the second attack? Or is that the for, damage? For damage. Uh, okay. And then I'll roll... You said athletics? Yes. Okay. If you're trying to, cl- like, climb around and still kind of... Yep. 21. 21. All right. So, yeah, you're able to, like, swing around, climb. Are you climbing up her front or her back? Uh, front. Front. Okay. Um, and so you would release restraint in order to do that uh, while, you're, while you're doing it. So I need you to give me a wisdom save, Willem. You got it, boss. Not good. 14. Tomar, you're on deck. Willem, Lila closes her eyes, and you feel this, like, massive force hit you and blasts you away. Give me an acrobatics save at disadvantage. Okay. First one was a 32. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought it was a one. It was a seven. Uh, 24. 24. Okay. Well, actually, That's with uh, reliable, reliable talent, talent, 27. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Jesus. Yeah. So, 27. So, you're able to right yourself in the air and drop to the ground uh, as you, you know, you and land pretty well, even though you're blasted away. So can I use my reaction? Uh, let me see here. I have opportunity attack. Okay. Um, I would like to again throw the dagger at her. <laughs> okay, but first you're going to take uh, sixty no seventy six damage from. Uh, the f- f- force damage from that blast as you land. Funny, but yes, if funny you- thing about that. I'm gonna okay. use I'm gonna use one of my boons. Okay. Once every short rest, invalidate any damage. In- okay. Invincibility. All right. So, all right. <laughs> so that's like a really good one. It is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So go ahead with your uh, reaction. Go ahead and roll attack. Go on with, with the reaction thing again. Um. And I hate to take your wooden out of your sails because it is cool. The ranged thing, you can't do it with ranged attacks. You can only do it if they're passing oh, your threatened yeah. space, um, which is stupid. It's stupid, but you can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Use my other just normal attack at this point? Yeah, it was a, it was a reaction to push you away, but you still have another gotcha. attack. Okay, sorry. Getting bogged down in the, no, I, yeah. in the mechanics. Um, okay, yeah, I would like to... Huck the warp dagger at her again. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll attack. Hucking she- daggers. <laughs> 31. 31. So it sticks back in her. And wait, you don't have a. Wait, you're going to burn an action surge, you said? Uh, Not yet. I could, okay, though. Because you already used your. your uh, or no, you didn't use your reaction, did you? Mm mm. She used hers. Okay, so yeah. Are you warping to her? I am, and it was also a natural 20, so I got to roll... (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I got to roll two d4s plus five. Okay. Uh, So that is 10. 
<laughs> I mean, that's good for a dagger. This is yeah. this is like you're like magnetized to her. She keeps throwing you off, and you just keep appearing and zapping her over and over, and just like continuing Dude, to go. Stop. Okay. <laughs> she, so she fucked with fucking Shigara. <laughs> she fucked up, man. Um, and then it'll be at this point that I would like to use action surge. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and I'm gonna stab her again with Kariki okay. Anj. All right, go ahead and roll that. Has she All taken right. her turn for a while? She's next. I nice. thought I was next. You're next, <laughs> normally. She usually takes at the beginning and the end of the turn. Oh, okay. 23. 23? Yes, please. That hits. Cool, 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 cool. And nine. <laughs> nine? Okay, nine, nine damage, damage on that one. All right. Um, and are you, I imagine you're holding on to her. Were you going to attempt to? Uh, yes, Which please. Strength technically, again. we'll have to wait till the next round to do that, but then that'll be your, your first reaction, or your first, yeah, reaction. Not reaction, bonus action. Okay, Tomar. Uh, did the wolves get dissuaded at all by me doing that to them? They did not. They seemed compelled by some other force. So after they were blasted backwards, they started to pick themselves back up. There is one prone immediately in front of you, uh, and the rest are still like swarming towards. I'm gonna do another blast then. Um, okay. Make a dex save for them. That is a natural twenty, so they would save from. That, so they take however, half they damage. Will take damage. So they take okay. thirty-two damage. Uh, thirty-two force. damage. And then I'm gonna of force. Then I'm gonna put a paw on the one that's on the ground, <laughs> and I'm gonna okay. say, "Yield!" <laughs> you watch as like they're blasted backwards again. Let's see. Oh no. Okay. So they, yeah, they they were fine. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. And they look real not good. This like this group of them. You've hit, you've. Total in total, you've heard about eight of them, but this one is like wrestling you. Uh, roll up uh, opposing strength here. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> okay I guess, I guess, well, roll it, roll it anyway. Okay. But and Gorbel, you're on deck. Mm, that's an eight. That's an eight. Yeah. His was a natural one. So <laughs> even though you're like trying to get your footing on him and keep him down, he's like barely able to resist. He's like trying. He's like writhing underneath your paw and try and like push you off but you you feel like zero strength coming out of it he seems pretty wounded tight that's it all right gorble check back in with miralock <laughs> um oh shit sorry i forgot to he'll uh he'll go now actually before you cuz i completely forgot to put him at the end of your turn so you watch as miralock floats up in the air and Still barely touching, he's got this construct body and still barely touching the sword. You watch as he kind of lets it go around him, and then he holds it up in the air as he can see that Lila is extremely distracted, and then throws the sword at Lila, and let's see what happens. He throws himself at her? Yes. Interesting. Tight. Welcome to the party, pal. Unfortunately, it looks as though his aim is a little bit off, and the sword <laughs> goes right by her. Decapitates well. And slinks, <laughs> like, slinks it to the floor, and, and you watch as the construct body goes limp, and then <laughs> hits the ground. What a loser. Aww. <laughs> it was a gamble. Shit happens. Oh my god, that was the best he had. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this, Gorble. <laughs> 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 better, better go de- incapacitate myself real fast. <laughs> oh man, what a shit brick. Don't worry, <laughs> it's not his final f- form. <laughs> Mira, look! <laughs> so who, who is around me? Uh, very nearby you is, well, it was Willem for a second. And Tomar is probably the closest to you, but he's like 20 feet away from you. Is anybody, like, trying to attack me or anything? None of the wolves seem even interested in you. They seem all focused on uh, Tomar's luminescent wolf form. Okay. Um, okay. And Lila is distracted by, by Willem. And Willem. Yeah, and, and yeah, that sword being thrown. That okay. she wouldn't really... Ha- she was at disadvantage, but it was just such a bad roll. 
Now is my chance for getting our friends in here again. I turn back to the door. Okay. I get out my sword of nullification. Okay. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Swing that gospel axe. And I Nullify look back at Nerolok shit. as he, as he, like, cruises by Lila <laughs> doing absolutely zero damage. <laughs> and I say, at least you helped me out with this. <laughs> And I, I poke the door. I don't. How do you use a sword on a door? <laughs> However you well, want. Well, I give it a little poke. You give it a poke. You watch as the <laughs> immediately disperses the shield, allowing the door to be completely unobstructed. Nice. I, I touch the handle. I do, I do the test pad. <laughs> <laughs> the jump pad seems cool. Cool, <laughs> cool to the touch. <laughs> I drop a little fleck of spit on it, see if it dances. Nothing. Okay. Whew. Okay, I open the door. All right, you open the door and <laughs> reveal this massive fucking wolf Close and door. pinwin. <laughs> <laughs> and do you, how many attacks do you have? Do you just have the one? Uh, I have two attacks. Okay, so you'd be allowed, since we'll count that poke as, a, as an attack, you have one more attack left. Penguin just looks back like. <laughs> <laughs> how how close is that creature? Like, it's like within ten feet of you. It seems to be like kind of swaying. You can see that it's holding like ru- like loosely holding an axe against the ground. Um, you see that Penguin looks real bad. You see Len on the ground unconscious. And let's say you opened it just as you watch Dirk like fucking uppercut this thing with this giant fucking baton, and. Uh, and you saw, like, Chester firing off these magical attacks from his puppets. Oh, shit. Um, so some, something's been going on on the other side of that door. <laughs> wow. Baby, you got a stew going. You never know. Uh, <laughs> Just hold on, loose leg. Okay, so how tall is it? Like, how how close is, like, it's it's tender bits? Like, it's a uh, neck and things it's like that? It's pretty well exposed. It doesn't have, like, much for armor. Um, it's, like, pretty bare-chested other than the hair. Um, and it's about 10 foot tall. And it's it's a big boy. It's a healthy boy, and uh, yeah, it's about yeah, ten fifteen feet away from you. Okay, sword of nullification. Don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> I I see this, and I run out there, mm-hmm. sword raised, and I I aim for that thick ass neck. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll an attack. That boss ass neck. Um, since I don't have the sort of nullification in here, I don't know exactly what the effects are or anything like that. Shit, I probably should have added that in there. Molly? <laughs> One second. Okay. It's, okay. it's going to be like a, like a regular addition to my attack, though, right? Yeah. Uh, for now, uh, for now, add your proficiency bonus and, uh, like, plus three. Oh, can I have an advantage? I mean, you would have advantage because it's uh, any attack right now on it will have advantage. Thank God. Can I get anything over a three today? Still in his cool down phase. Oh, no, you were writing in my notes. The answer is yes. (gasps) Um, Gaia. Okay. Okay. You said plus three to that? And your proficiency bonus. What was the plus three for? For the sword itself. Oh, okay. (laughs) Just because I like you, kid. (laughs) Finally, someone does. Okay, that's going to be 29 to hit. 29 hits. Nice. All right, so I need you to give me a dex save. Ah! Oh my gosh, let me do this, please. Don't just tell me what it is. Let me do it. Mm. I am not rolling great today, guys. Me neither. As- Asterix on today. <laughs> I'm, I'm going sorry, to use another. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use another boon. I'm going to use my luck boon um, to pump up that save a little bit, so I get to add a d10 to that. Noise, noise, noise. If I get a one, oh my god! Are you serious? It was a two. <laughs> you also <laughs> have the, that's the, the mantle of inspiration. Oh yeah, Christ! From Penwin. Penwin, roll a d10. I already used that. Damn. Damn. I used that to get one more point mm. for attacking the door. Okay. Holy so what's your shit. total then? Um, so that's going to be Six. 16. 16, oh. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, so, shit. <laughs> Gorbel, the nature of this sword is that it nullifies magical power, and with a 16, 
you feel as though you have nullified some strong undercurrent of magical energy inside of this beast. You still have to roll damage for your attack. 24. All right, you do 24 damage to this creature, which will be doubled because of the Sword of Nullification. So you're looking at 48 damage to this creature. All right, so this thing, as you slice across its neck, you notice like a large like cut in there. And let's see if it bleeds, high or low. High, always. He is now suffering from bleeding. He will continue to lose blood unless he heals himself. Mm. Uh, as this, there's like fucking spouts of blood starting to come out of his neck. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Well, as long as he's distracted by that shit, I turn my focus to everyone else. All right. Pinwin? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Thank you! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I know I don't look fine, but I'll be there. I'll be fine eventually. He's just covered in bruises. <laughs> Len? <laughs> he's currently unconscious. <laughs> but he'll he's be back. No he's not unconscious. Or he's passed out. He's, I don't know. He's dizzy. Yeah. Oh, Len. I thought you said when. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Len is unconscious on the ground. Are the, have those other good. wolves been attacking or doing anything other than charging? They have been, like, charging towards you, but after you did your blasts, they slowed it. Okay. And it looks like they're going to start to attack normally. Sorry, I asked. Um, <laughs> no, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> no, I meant sorry uh, for myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Willem, uh, I need you to give me a dex save. You got it, boss. Save that dex, homie. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> 13. I rolled a two. Gorble, damn you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Willem, you watch as Lila's struggling with you and looks like as though she doesn't have any other recourse, and you see her go <sighs> and bites your neck. Oh. Oh. Freaking Lila. Where spider? <laughs> Wolf spider. Mm. Ah. Willem, you take 50 damage. Ouch. And I need you to give me a constitution save. Mm -hmm. okay. Fuck, you have lycanthropy, you bitch. You werewolf <laughs> bitch. Lycanthropy. Like Joke's on you. He wants to be a werewolf. <laughs> right? No shit. Like, <laughs> fuck, fucking please. That'd be so fucking dope. <laughs> like, oh, why are you not rolling? Just please have roll. Gorble stab you. There we go. <laughs> right here, right here. I'll do it. <laughs> you, you said con, right? Yep. 16. 16. Okay. Uh, remember that that is one fail. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, now it is uh, Tomar. You watch as a ring of these wolves begin to converge on you. And they are all going to go after you at this point. So, to make this easier, I'm going to roll three times, and then we're going to divide it up that way. So, the first group, like, you're able to, like, move out of the way as they, like, slice and claw at you. The second group as well does not hit you. You're able to, like, kind of juke out of the way as they're, like, all kind of doing this. They might be a little bit hesitant because of how you blasted those others back. The third group is going to hit you, and we're going to do a cumulative here. So cumulatively, Tomar, you're going to take 71 damage. Ouch. Oof. As these wolves like kind of gather around you and start slashing at you and like biting at you and, and clawing you and stuff. I growl and now, in Penguin, anger. <laughs> it is your turn. Yay! Okay. I'm going to try something potentially really dangerous, and I'll tell everyone, hold off on attacking for one second! And I'm going to try to cast Message. Okay. And, uh... <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to potentially reason with it, try to reason with it. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to say... I can see that you're not doing well, and 
we obviously have a lot of people that are attacking you and you're bleeding and I'm sure you didn't want to be this way. I'm sure you don't want to be used like this and you don't need to follow a leader. In fact, you could just rebel against them and do your own thing and then you won't have to die because if you continue this route, we will kill you. You are bleeding. I don't know. So that's what you say to this dizzied creature? Yeah. You hear like, uh, my little, uh, pesky little wasp stinging and stabbing me. Uh, if I die for my queen, I die for my queen. I do not care. If you want to spare my life, I will not spare yours. Easy choice. Okay, um, everybody kind of is just like holding off on the attack while you have Never mind, kind of kill it! <laughs> 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 uh, at that prompting, uh, Bem uh, kind of staggers over to slash at the, uh, he, he seems very hesitant to bite. So you notice that he like slashes with his claws at this creature and makes a good connection there. Uh, it's a, it, it, he strikes true and it seems like it kind of hurts the creature a little bit. Just like, mm, as it's getting dizzy, uh, um, Chester is going, his dolls are still floating in the air and he's going to fire another four bolts of black energy. It's just, and then of course, Dirk is going to batter up and he's going to swing on the creature again. You'll have to. And actually, because he attacked at the same time as Chester, the creature swang too much, and Dirk actually just kind of a glancing blow off of the side of it. It doesn't really look like it did too much damage. However, at that point, the creature <laughs> stands up, seems no longer dizzy, and Pinwin, you watch as it hefts its axe, and rather than swing it at you, it hurls it at you. <sighs> I didn't even attack it. Uh, Pinwin, high or low? Low. That's actually really funny. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, you watch as it hurls it. It must have been still st kind of dizzy because the axe flies, like, off kilter and just funks right into the wall behind you yes. with a big resounding thing. But as you look at it, you see how deep that's in the wall and you're thanking your lucky stars because that axe head is bigger than your body. Um, well, I'll see me Sosa kiss the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and the creature's just like... Nrr. And now it is Willem's turn. Okay. I, first things first, I need you to roll a constitution save. You got it. 17. That is two fails for you, Willem. I... Out of how many? You get a total of three. Um, oh. I will give you that spoiler. Okay. Um, I, f I figure you're going to tell me to fuck off. <laughs> I was just you reaching. You get a total of suck my dick. Um, <laughs> Uh, Willem, you are going to take 40 necrotic damage as whatever happened feels like it like pulses through your body and like almost like it's burning pathways through your veins. It's extremely painful and you will now have disadvantage on your attacks. But it is your turn. Oh, good. For a second there, I thought you had bad news. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. At this point... I I'm going to have to change lanes here. I would like to push off of her and do a little backflip. Okay. And as I do so, I would like to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Um all right. So you cast invisibility on yourself. So you are invisible. However, you will have disadvantage on your acrobatics from pushing off of yourself. That is fair. All right. First one was a natural 20, 37, <laughs> and 31. All okay. Right. So yeah, you 
despite the pain in your veins, you're able to f- fly off of her. What are you? You're just going to land on the ground? Yep. Okay. So you land like Spider-Man style, looking all cool. Um, invisibly. Yeah, <laughs> invisibly. If anyone could see invisibility, the spell, you would look really cool. Hell yeah. Um, Is that the end of your turn? And then I... Uh, does that any of that count for like my movement? Uh, no, because you it would count as like an action or a reaction. Okay. So no, you're good. Okay, I would like to move as close as I can to the dome around Chigara. Okay, um, you're able to get you're like 20 feet away from it, so oh, you're able sick. to get to the wall. But it's it's like 40 feet up, so you'll probably have to gotcha. do your wall climb. Okay. So do you, are you going to continue up the wall as far as I can? Yep. Okay, uh, your 30 feet movement, is that right? Yes, sir. So you're able to get another 10 feet up okay. on the wall. Cool. All right, uh, Tomar. Uh, all right, I'm going to try and see if my breath can recharge. And it does. <laughs> Got a five okay. again. Um, make a deck save. We'll do a general roll. <laughs> okay, they do not save. Okay, <laughs> one sec. General roll. <laughs> Man. These wolves suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look at who created them. Hey. <laughs> Wait, what? The rolling. The rolling. The rolling. It's uh, a... As they're surrounding me, I'm going to turn my head around quickly, and I'm going to blow force damage for 54 force damage. All right. Show me what you got. Hell yeah. There's eight of them that will succumb to this. I'm just going to... I'm just going to bellow in my chest and I'm going to say, yield! <laughs> and then I'm going to shoot force at him and mouth at him. All right, you watch as they just basically turn to like magical glitter dust. They just, you blast them apart and they just, like the dust like blows back and lands on the ones behind them. They're all just like. <laughs> it's the judgment day scene. <laughs> my babies. Okay. Gorble. Okay. So this this big guy mm-hmm. is without a weapon now. Correct. Okay. Um, he does look like he has some long fingernails, so be careful there. He's a big, muscular wolf man. I turned to Dirk. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. His, his, his pride's a little hurt because he barely did any damage that last round mm-hmm. after doing awesome damage <laughs> the first round. Do you think you can handle this? He looks back. I got it. <laughs> Another one. I'm done. <laughs> um, okay, I have to. I have to go help out inside. All, all right, you do what you got to do. We'll we'll hold down the fort here. We got okay. it, Gorbal. Keep in mind, he also has the Bardic Inspiration. All right. I did not know that actually. So. Well, he does. Okay. Good luck. Oh yeah, I did know that. Okay. Yep. We're not going to need luck. And he, like, hefts the bat <laughs> over his shoulder. And also, like, maybe do something with Len. Hmm. Ah, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> y- you've seen him like this before? Nah, but I don't mind it, if I'm if I'm being honest. Oh, my God. Protect him. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I, I turn and go back inside. Okay. You are inside. Uh, what is Lila doing? She is looking at Willem. Well, she would be. She's trying to find Willem. She's looking around as if trying to discover where he's at because, and you don't see Willem either, but you knew the last that last thing was that he was grappling her up in the air. So she's very distracted at the moment. Okay. I'm going to try to make my way very swiftly mm-hmm. over to the orb area. Okay. It is 40 feet up. Yep. Um, I'm hoping that if I just stand there with my arms up, <laughs> kind of moving my hands in a gimme <laughs> gesture. Someone will lift me. Um, okay, I go over there, and I'm trying to figure out, like, how, it's is it just floating? Uh, it's up on a dais about 40 feet up, so there's, like, this, like, outcropping in the wall, and there's it's connected to this, like, big contraption. Do you want to roll a perception check? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want I want to figure out how to get up there because I, I need to get up there to, to poke it. I like that I don't do any stabbing with this sword. <laughs> it's only just like, <laughs> little pokes. 
Okay, I'll do a perception check trying to figure out how to get up there. Oh my god, that is the best perception I have ever percepted. Yay! <laughs> nice! 20. 20, all right. So you look around and you like get over there really fast. You're like a bolt of lightning. You look around and you can see that from the contraption, there is this like angled pipe, this copper pipe that goes down and to the floor and into the floor. That looks to be probably your best bet of getting up to that dais. Okay. Are you going to let me try that or is my turn over? No, you have, you can still do an action. Okay. I wipe my hands off on my legs. And I get to climbing. All right, give me athletics. Ah. 29. 29, all right. Whoa. So, Gorbel, you see, like, the, you're like, I got this. And you just start, like, because your speed is increased, so is your climb speed. So you zip up this pole. You're like, doot, 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 and you're up at the top in no time at all, standing in front of this orb. And that will be the end of your turn, unless you have, like, a bonus action or anything like that. No. Okay. All right. And at that moment, Tomar, I need you to give me a wisdom save. That's a 16, governor. All right, Tomar, you feel a force of energy as Lila. You can, you're not really paying attention to her at the moment because you're surrounded by these wolves. But she doesn't even seem to care that some of her wolves are in the way. She closes her fist, you being the only person she can see on the field at the moment, and you get blasted by this force. Uh, give me uh, opposing strength, because you are a large creature. That's a natural 20. He called Wait. you a creature. That's a natural 20. <laughs> you are fucking lucky, because <laughs> that was a 19 uh, for opposing strength. Um <laughs> And uh, so you actually resist being pushed. However, you are going to take damage, force damage from this. And actually, because you are in the form of the luminescent wolf, you will take half force damage. So nice, nice, nice. So what normally would have been 80 force damage is now 40 force damage or 40 damage to you. So you take this like blow, but you also see that a bunch of the wolves get smashed against the wall with this force, and some of them look like they can't even, like, really move anymore. A couple of them are dead. Uh, it really wiped out a big portion of it. She looked like she was hell-bent on trying to hurt you. I lower my gaze at her, and I growl, bare my teeth. That kind of eliminated the wolf's turn, because that was really disorienting, so they are going to sit out a turn at the moment. And, Pinwin, it's back to you. Since I am really over this wolf and I tried to reason with it and it's not having it, it just wants death, I'm going to try to see if I can give it some death. So I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and cast Hail of Thorns at 7th level. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, then I'll try to shoot with my oath bow. Okay. We'll see how it go goes. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. 32. That hits. Yay. Okay. Here it goes. Okay. So I have... So it'll be, five, it'll be six, 66. Okay. So right now I have 10. Wait, 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 wait. Real quick. Is Hunter's Mark concentration? Um, I'm doing Hail of Thorns, but yeah, I yeah, think I know, they both are. Oh, to yeah, keep, it is. It probably... Because you'd have to... You'd have to drop Hunter's That's Mark okay. if that was the case. Yeah. Okay. Unless All right, the so boon only be says five I D6. can hold three case, like instances of it for Hunter's Mark, but that's probably only with other Hunter's with Mark. With concentration. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, so, yeah. Did I say what it was? 11? Right? Was it 11? 11 damage? Um, 11 it'll with be the D8. It'll be five. Okay, 11 with a DA, okay, and then 5 D6s okay. since you don't have Hunter's Mark anymore. But I cast it at a higher level this time. So, so I, yeah, it'll probably be more. Yeah. Okay, 7 D10, and then I'll do my 2 D6 from Oathbow. Okay, so Please. there's... Okay, gotcha. So, right. yeah. Because, um, yeah, I have the D8 plus 5 for Oathbow, but then I have the 2 D6 when it's my favorite enemy. But with Hail Thorns, I just did 40. And yeah, 65 total altogether. Okay. So show me what Yay! you got, Pinwin. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> I haven't killed anything, like gotten a kill in a while. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say 
Um, you wanted death, here it comes. And then I'll just, <laughs> <laughs> and I will go ahead and uh, pull back my bow and aim right in the middle of its head. Okay. So you aim right at the middle of its head and <laughs> this arrow flies out at top speed, just, <laughs> and you watch as uh, thorns explode outward in a shower of brain and viscera as the the hail of thorns erupts from it within the uh, area that the arrow hit and you just watch as the body <laughs> slumps to a loud thunderous plop on the ground. Yes. I'm gonna take my arrow. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take my bow and like blow it like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that I don't was your. Know why I do this? Was that was that with both attacks, or is that with just one attack? Um, oh, that was just one attack. Mm-hmm. Well, um, you got mad range with that oath bow. Yeah. What can I fire at in range? Shoot, Lila. Can I see Lila are... through the door? You can, because you're only like ten ten feet away from the door. I will. I will shoot Lila. And I can't. I can't do another hunter. Um, yeah, I can't do another hunter's mark. No. You can. Yeah, you can. Oh, I you can because you're a boon. Yeah. <laughs> and because you're a boon. All well, right. Well, hunter's mark works that if the target dies, you can move it to another one. Well, yeah. So, yeah, okay. you would be able to do it regardless. <laughs> All right. Then I will cast hunter's mark on Lila. And. Okay. Wait, you already you already did your. Oh, yeah. Your, uh, Hail of Thorns. Yeah. So, you, so I can't. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. anyway, I'll but just try to just shoot attack. her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. I will. And you will have advantage on this. Yuck. Okay. First one was 22. Ooh, 30. 30 hits. Yay. Won't be as many, but... Nine damage. Nine damage. So you just... And you hear like a... <laughs> from the, the, across the room Ow. as it like glances her shoulder. <laughs> um, and right before we switch to you, Willem... Penwin, now you can hear something else coming up the stairs. Oh, come you. on! Golly. <laughs> you hear heavy boot fall. <laughs> All right, Willem, it is your turn. Please give me a constitution save. Oh, shit. Fucking please. That's not good. What'd you get? Four. Ooh, mama. Willem. Mamacita. You feel this intense rack of pain energy from your body has been sapped and you are brought to zero HP as you're climbing up this wall invisibly you go out of invisibility and drop to the ground unconscious and you feel like something is enrapturing you I'm gonna need a death save okie dokie that's an 11 that succeeds yeah. Oh shit, that's right. It just has to be <laughs> above 10. Yep, right? Yes. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. So you have succeeded on one death save. Okay. You guys watch as Willem suddenly appears on the ground, <laughs> unconscious. Tomar, it's your turn. Hmm. <sighs> shit. How is Lila Sorry, looking? <laughs> uh, she's looking a little worse for wear. She looks like she might have a little bit of fight left in her, but. She's definitely seen better days. You watched as an arrow appeared out of nowhere and fucking struck her. <laughs> okay. Um, how close is Willem to uh, Gorbel? Uh, he is like 40 feet away from her because she's on top of the dais now and he's at the bottom of it, right at the bottom. Um, has Gorbel been hit at all? Um, you, just by the door. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And by that force damage initially. That was a lot of damage, though. So if I get between both thing. of them, they'll each be like 20 feet away from me? Yes. All right. I'm going to run up between them, turning back. You'd, ha- you'd have to float. you have to fly. I'm going to turn back into Tomar. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. And I'm going to light the ivory candle again. And okay. you guys should go up to full health. Does that reach me? No. Dang. Why couldn't you wait? It was going. Because Willem was making death saves. Oh, that's true. Good point. Good point. I'm finally a part of the candle club. (laughs) All right, Willem, we will get to you in just a second. Gorbel, it is your turn. Okay. Well, I'm up there. I'm going to poke it. You poke 
the dome and it shatters immediately and you watch as the the pain that's like racking um uh shigara's unconscious form seems to stop yes. can i grab her you can yeah nice is she awake she is not will she be affected by tobar's candle she probably actually that's a good point she probably would be so uh yeah um she seems to be doing a lot better than she just was Fuck yeah. but her eyes are still closed nice shit yeah okay and she can't walk uh yeah she's unconscious and she's in this in like enclosed like contraption okay i'm going to try to start figuring out how to get that off her Okay, give me okay. investigation. I'm suck ass. Twelve. Twelve. Um, it's really hard to see. It's a very complex looking mechanism. Um, but looking at it, you think you if you really applied your strength, you might be able to just like pry it apart. Well, I'm gonna try. All right. Give me. <laughs> Let's do athletics, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pry. <laughs> you have advantage on all ability checks and saving throws and attack rolls. So roll twice. Come on. Buddy. I'm sorry. What was it? Uh, athletics. 28. 28 for athletics. Fuck yeah. Gorbel, you Woo! rip this thing off of its hinges. You were like pulling so hard you feel it give, and then once it gets to a certain point, it's very difficult at first, but it loses like half its tensile strength the moment you get it past a certain point, and then you break these arms off, and Shigara kind of falls into your arms. Yeah. Damn, it's like Captain America with that log. <laughs> like, bitch. Log. Give me a wisdom save, Gorble. Uh-oh. Advantage. That candle is fucking awesome. <laughs> that is really good. I'm glad I'm finally a part of the crew. <laughs> candle candle crew. crew. I can't do better than a natural 20. Yeah. Yeah. So what, is that? <laughs> what is that total? 21. 21. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yeah, you like, you like feel like a blast um, from behind uh, as this, whatever Lila does was directed right at you and deals 30 damage of force to you. However, that's halved, so... Um, God damn. Rounded down. With but, all of um, these fucking foes with their fucking aura blast. <laughs> <laughs> Level 20, baby. Fucking knock um, it off. <laughs> and you can see, if you were to turn and see, you can see that she's staring daggers right at you, Gorble. Mm. I'm sorry, how much damage did you say that 30. was? 30. Mm-hmm. Hate that lady. Mm -hmm. um, she sucks. Do you have any uh, bonus actions or anything like that that you can do? Dude, Lila straight up sucks. N no. <laughs> okay. So I can't do anything right now. Okay. Boo. Pinwin, it is your turn. You hear those footsteps coming up. Heavy boot falls. Um. Uh. Well, normally I would like ready some like violent shit but but um i'm not doing super great health wise and i have one of the runes who's kind of not doing well with me so i'm gonna go ahead and cast i'll do healing spirit at um i, th I didn't mark that i'll do healing spirit at fifth level fifth level mm -hmm. okay on len or who? Um, does this do more than one person? It's whoever is in the aura. Maybe a higher level. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'll include, I'll tell all the runes to come over by me, and then I'll heal myself in the wo the runes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You'd have to get close to Len if he's unconscious. Otherwise, he won't be Aren't able I to... already by him? I don't know where it's Because we Pinwin were all is. blasted on, like, we were all hit under the floor at is one Pinwin point. Is Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're like 10, So I think all but Dirk are together, together, so... I mean, Dirk is even... Cl he's close enough to you. Okay, cool. Um, then... Let me do that. Oh my god. 12 HP. F. All right. But it could... Len at every... Yeah. So often you heal. I, think, yeah, I thought this every one round. doesn't repeat. Yeah, it does. Healing Spirit. Oh my god, I keep getting so confused. Healing or Spirit is six dope. seconds or something. One bonus action, concentration up to a minute. Oh, if it's a bonus action, I can do something else then, right? Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Well, after that, then I'll probably go ahead and make my way back up to the rest of the group. 
and motion for the runes to follow. Okay. Um, you could do an attack action, too. You could shoot Oh, that's Lila. true. I forgot. Never mind. Well, Let you can move still. I'll move towards the door. Okay. <laughs> and then... You're ten feet away from the door, so... And I will... Can't do any more spells, but I will ready my bow for this foe. Like the one coming up the stairs? Yeah. Okay, Phobo. Gotcha. Unless they're not a foe, but we'll find out. Okay, so two things happen at the same time. Uh, actually, several things happen at once, I guess I should say. So, Gorbel, you are holding... Um, you are holding uh, Shigara, and you feel her stir a little bit, and her eyes start to flutter open. Tomar, you see that the wolves are starting to pick themselves back up, and then all of their heads cock to the side at the same time and then all of them look directly at you. At me Penguin, or at Gorble? At, at you. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I guess I did kind of look that yeah, way. Yeah, you looked off. Yeah, sorry. Pinwin, you see a rise, someone rise up over the stairs, and you see that there's more than one person. There's two. You see a uh, silver-armored individual with a silver helmet and a large glittering spear and curly, tawny-colored hair poking out of the helmet. Zyko ah! coming up over the edge, oh, carrying, <laughs> carrying what appears to be an injured woman that you do not recognize, huh. tr- like lugging her up with one arm over his shoulder. Gorbel, you, as you're like, you feel her stir and her eyes flutter open, you look at Lila and Lila is muttering something under her Shigara. breath, but she's, no, oh. Lila is <laughs> muttering <laughs> something under her breath and staring right at Willem. Can, wait, can I can I throw her off her game if I see this? Because you said I saw it. I mean, I, what do you have in mind? Sit on her. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let um. Throw I, I a warp dagger at her. How you want me to do this? Um. Oh, what is the best way to get her attention? Do the thing to remember. <laughs> Fart at her. Okay, I need a distraction, something that's going to freak her out, something that's going to at least pull her out of that. Okay, seeing this, my uh, my last-ditch effort to at least just, like, snap her out of it, I'm, I'm going to yell, Lila, I love you! And you watch as her head, like, snaps, confused to look right at you, Gorbel. <laughs> I look away from the wolves and back to <laughs> Gorbel. <laughs> <laughs> Willem. As your eyes open up and you have received full health, you feel strange. Very, Mm. very strange. Mm. No. You hear a voice inside Mm -mm. your head. Mm -mm. Fight it. Fight it. Fight oh, you wolf bastard. (laughs) Or turn into a wolf, because you want to. You hear Lila's voice. Oh, but not that. That's what I'm fighting. Yeah, that's what (laughs) And before it is pulled away, you hear her say, Arise, my child. You are now one of mine own, and by proxy, one of the master's own. Enjoy your new world of the night. Vampire. And that's where we're going to end for the night. Mm. (laughs) Oh! Vampire? (laughs) How a werewolf going to bite a dude and give him vampirism? (laughs) What? That leads to the question, how could Lila control the wolves? Anyway. Also, that also, uh, Um, like... What is this were-mara pyre shit? (laughs) What what did she say back to me? Uh, We'll see in the next episode. This is becoming weirdly full circle. Like, if you survive all this, you're going to become a vampire that lives in the Shade Gazer Manor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're going to get get your ass kicked by a group of adventurers Uh, while you're playing a pipe organ. (laughs) (laughs) Just minding your own business. That's how our next campaign starts. (laughs) <laughs> we, oh, we have been such assholes. <laughs> Wasn't it so shitty that we were talking to that hobgoblin and like, violence is not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> just killing everyone. I felt, I felt weird about that the whole time. So I never, I was never on that train of like, violence is not the answer. <laughs> like that came out of left field for me. I was like, nah, dude, like fucking we're killing I everybody. Just but the, just for us. The royal <laughs> violence, like global war, <laughs> that's bad. Um, 
And to be fair, like I was saying yield to the wolves as I was blowing them away. But, you know, they weren't listening. So, no, that was that was pretty. That was a, a great display for everyone. And right. like some cool ass shit. Yeah. Uh, tell me why you deserve five points of boon. Everybody did awesome. Killed shit. a wolf mutant. Yeah. A wootin? No, oh, that's stupid. A wolf. <laughs> a wolf. That's better. I take it back. I don't know. Like, I feel like we all should get. Like. Uh, Everyone did boon. something really awesome, so I don't know. I don't know how to vote at all for anyone, but yeah, this one's hard. All yeah. right, now it's time for tonight's MVPC. Wait, did we get? Did we get five points? Oh yes, you also oh, got five points. Like, oh, no. <laughs> Since you think you all did so great, nobody gets booed. <laughs> How does it feel now? Arrogant. You're the dad that pulls into McDonald's and then drives around <laughs> past the drive-through and back out onto the highway. <laughs> now nobody that. gets it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, just for the audience's benefit, we're going to vote for the most valuable player character. And Willem is one, Tomar is two, Pinwin is three, and Gorbel is four. On the count of three, you're going to hold up the number of corresponding fingers, indicating the person you think deserves that extra five points of boon. Take a moment, and then we shall vote. I'm ready. I'm ready. You two ready? Mm hmm. All right, one, two, three, vote. Uh, all right, we've got three votes for Gorble and one vote for Pinwin. Gorble, why'd you vote for Pinwin? So Pinwin was in a crap situation, getting uh, blown outside the door, but I felt like he held his own really well, and that was a very scary situation also because he wasn't with any of his normal fighting partners. But he handled it well, uh, dealt the the final blow to that giant creature, and then shot Lila through the door, which was really cool. <laughs> it was like a little a little sneak attack. <laughs> I like that. Very nice. Uh, Pinwin, why'd you vote for Gorble? Because she did a bunch of awesome stuff. So she, well, the nullify sword is awesome. And she nullified the shit out of a bunch of stuff this episode. And what about that kick, though? That, <laughs> that kick, too, was fantastic. And, um, yeah, she got Shigar down. She also, yeah, helped me a lot with the, the wolf dude. Um, yeah, I definitely needed, like, any help with that. That was, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, just overall. And she told Lila that she loves her to, I don't know, which I, I think is a fantastic. As someone who kissed as a last resort, I think she's doing great <laughs> things. So, <laughs> yeah. Manipulation is always a, a good choice, yes. I think. Very nice. Thank you, Pinwin. Uh, Willem, why'd you vote for Gorble? Um, I'm biased, but purely because she got Shigara out of that dome. Gotcha. And potentially saved both her and me by distracting Lila. Very nice. Tomar, why'd you go for Gorbel? Uh, she surprised me in how she played. Uh, she didn't take the bait at all of Lufric's head rolling onto the floor. Uh, she thought of everyone and making sure that they were all taken care of and safe. And yeah. uh, she prioritized that. Mama over, Gorble. She prioritized mm. that over even getting revenge or, uh, True. yeah, tying up loose ends. So uh, that was cool. Most most likely, uh, I would say, if from an enemy perspective, to like be, a, like goaded into violence by that situation and completely yeah, threw it away like not today so yeah no that's that's uh that's really good so that means tonight's mvpc is gorbel ice tower <laughs> thank you five points of boon and i guess buy lufric a new body <laughs> buy lufric a new body so it's All one right. of uh, chester's puppets <laughs> <laughs> but the head is way bigger so it's like <laughs> weird bet neck yeah <laughs> that's gross <gruesome>. right <laughs> that's creepy as all well. leave that in yeah. <laughs> Thanks Was there to any Chad question? 
<laughs> thanks to Chad Piper for that awesome intro song. Thanks to Adrian Von Ziegler for that beautiful background music. Thanks to all of you listeners. We really appreciate you tuning in every week to uh, hear our misadventures. And uh, if you like what you hear, why don't you go ahead, head over to iTunes and uh, rate us. We'd really love a five star rating if you'd consider that. Um, every little bit helps. Uh, I don't think you guys realize how much it helps us, but we uh, really appreciate uh, any sort of feedback. Get, leave us a review and we will read it on air. Check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash D20 underscore syndicate. Look over some of our tiers and consider making us warlocks with your patronage. Also, our Discord is now free and open to the public. So come on in, hang out, shit post with us, and uh, just have a good time. Uh, we, uh, we're just, yeah, we're having too much fun in there, and we need more uh, bodies to soak up all the joy. So, uh, yeah, definitely check that out in our episode description or anywhere we have our social media platforms or even our website at d20syndicate.com. Otherwise, that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for listening. I am your host and DM, Seth. And this is the D20 Syndicate podcast, where we go on adventures so you don't have to. Later. I'm Later. a vampire. <laughs> I'm having this area. Too episode. close to the mic. <laughs> Previously on the lineage of Moonreach. Play a spell like oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Play the uh, Oh my god. Keep it. Okay. I used to be a ranger. And then I I took an arrow to the knee. Yep, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Shot myself in the knee with an arrow. <laughs> oh shit, I lost my page. <laughs> oh shit, I just got water all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I didn't. I just put a different notebook on top of it. Never mind. Okay, we're good. Oh, the old notebook switcheroo. <laughs> all right, so this thing. <laughs>